And Fox 35 starts with breaking news. The search for Mia comes to a tragic end. Deputies say that they have found a body they believe to be that of 19-year-old Mia Mercano. Good evening, I'm David Bowden. And I'm Christy Kern. The body believed to be hers was found this morning at the Timber Scan Apartments in Orange County. Fox 35 is bringing you team coverage tonight. We begin with Dave Puglisi. He has been covering the story from the very beginning. Dave, what have you heard from the family today? Well, Christy, I've reached out to a number of family members, and as you can imagine, they're absolutely devastated. Even as this search began to reach a week, they always believed that they would find Mia alive. Unfortunately, her body found here at the Timber Scan Apartments earlier this morning. Now, Orange County deputies began their search sometime this morning, not long after they found what they believed to be the body of Mia Marcano, a purse carrying her identification found near the body. Deputies say their suspect, Armando Caballero, lived in the Timber Scan Apartments at one time. They said his phone pinged here the night Mia went missing. They believe he was here in the area for about 20 minutes. Mia's family received the news around noon. It's heart wrenching. It's, it's heartbreaking. This is this is our baby. She's funny. She's goofy. She's silly. She's very, very family oriented. She loves her family and her family loves her back. Now, Mia's family has held a vigil every single night while she's been gone, and they will be holding another one tonight in Orlando. Dave Puglisi, Fox 35 News. Well, Dave, thank you. Our team coverage continues right now in Orlando. Fox 35's Matt Trezza was at the sheriff's office this afternoon when Sheriff Johnny Mina made that tragic announcement. While delivering the tragic news about finding a body likely to be Mia Mercano's, Sheriff John Mina gave more details about how they got to this point. So why were we at Timber Scan Apartments? Mina says they were electronically tracing the movements of Armando Caballero, their prime suspect. Uh, cell phone records uh, showed us that Caballero was in or near the Timber Scan Apartments on Friday evening between 8 and 9 o'clock. Uh, that's the evening that she was reported missing. He says they'd comb through months of Caballero's electronic records to follow his steps. He had been in downtown Orlando. He had been in the Paramore area. Obviously, he had been in both uh, Orange County near the apartment complex, uh, at the other apartment complex in Seminole County, and of course, uh, Volusia County. And Mina says Caballero had a connection to the apartment complex. He had lived uh, in timber scan apartments at one time. He says search teams located the body and more evidence. They were walking in, and found um, uh, what we believe to be her body. Uh, a purse with Mia's identification was found near the body as well. Sheriff Mina said this isn't the end of their investigation, though. The next steps are to conduct an autopsy on the body they found and come up with a definitive timeline of the events leading up to Mia's death. In Orlando, Matt Trezza, Fox 35 News. All right, thank you to Matt. And it looks like there have been a lot has been uncovered in the extensive search to find Mia. Let's take a look now at the timeline of events from this past week. The search for Mia comes to a tragic end. It all started one week ago. At 4.30 p.m. last Friday, at the Arden Villas apartments where Mia lived and worked, deputies believe Armando Caballero, a maintenance worker at the complex, used a master key fob to enter her apartment. Later that night, Mia missed her flight home to Fort Lauderdale, and with no contact from her, family drove up to see what was wrong. On Saturday, Mia's aunt had a brief yet disturbing interaction with Caballero, who at the time wasn't a known suspect. He said, are you looking for Mia? I said, who are you? He said, I'm the maintenance guy. I heard you're looking for me. That same morning, this video surfaced of a man who matched Caballero's description, getting out of a car identified by deputies as Caballero's vehicle. Family say that blanket in his hand is Mia's. Sunday was the first of many vigils held for Mia, and on Monday, a big development with Caballero. We found a suicide um, on property. Someone hung themselves from a garage. Deputies rushed to the Sable Club apartments for an apparent suicide, only to find his body. By Wednesday, the search for Mia intensified with investigators and family members at Arden Villas, Blanchard Park, and Lake Monroe. On Thursday, the search expanded to New Smyrna Beach after family told us a cell phone belonging to Caballero pinged in that area. That brings us to a sad end. 
when deputies finally found the body in the Timberscan Apartments area in Orlando. Well, Fox 35 uncovered more details that could be related to the case. Another woman claims she may have had an incident with the same man who is now considered the prime suspect in Mia's disappearance. We have new body camera video from that incident, which happened in March. There is a, a weight that was thrown into the window. She doesn't know who. Well, the woman says a maintenance worker named Armando threw a dumbbell through her window. Police believe it was Armando Caballero, the same man police just named as a prime suspect in Mia's disappearance. Police say both women rejected his romantic advances.